Taipo Canal is a 57 km long drainage canal linking Taipo Lake to Shanghai. The canal by default stands out as a main special reference in the region because of its straight road and majestic scale. Excavated from 1958 to 1995, the Taipo Canal has played an important role in flood control, drainage, transport, and supply for fresh water. Poorly accessible and bordered by technical buffers, the canal impacts the region as a spatial divide. Taipo Canal Studio 2020, a design-driven research project, hypothesized that the Taipo Canal can guide the spatial development of the vast green heart of Jiangnan Park as a cohesive entity and can re-articulate the region in two directions. Longitudinally, the canal can be upgraded from its current drainage function into an ecological and recreational span that links the rich diversity of open spaces and ecosystems. Transversely, the canal can interweave the network of open spaces, connect historic water towns and villages, and frame new urban development. Intensively exploited for several centuries, the Yangtze River Delta is characterized by a multiplicity of typical landscapes that all derive from powder structures. The Strait Taipo Canal contrasts drastically with the organic pattern of its surrounding landscapes. It borders the backside of Modi's town, split lake in two, or cross patches of forests. This project adopts a cross-scale method of contextual prototypes. Contextual reflects a sensitive understanding of territory. Prototype aims to generate pilot solutions that inaugurates alternative approaches to the generic statutory planning practice. A combination of sampling, typological classification, and design exploration techniques are used to re represent and design the territory as three complementary scales, XL, L, and M scales. The team drew up a multi-dimensional portrait of the canal territory according to the five themes of Jiangnan Park. Park of Nature Inhabited Park Productive Park Parkways Culture Park Six representative transects of 5 km by 10 km were sampled and examined in terms of historical evolution, local characteristics, and environmental and developmental challenges. A toolbox of common elements found in the region were featured and classified into four categories of typical usage, buildings, infrastructures, and landscapes. The comparison of strategic framework plans a prototypical project reveals the rich diversity of spatial conditions and some recurring challenges and opportunities. The first transect, for instance, shows how the reactivation of the Asian Logan powder system, the reconnection of Asian fishing villages, and the reclamation of water infrastructures into public spaces can all contribute to restore a dialogue between Taipo Canal and its immediate context. The accidental relationship between the Logan powder landscape and the intrusive canal can be re-articulated by the reclarification of interstitial open spaces and by the reclamation of the Sluice Island as a public park.